to another video. This is episode four, and it is the 24 hour benefits of fasting, or benefits of fasting for 24 hours. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about a few of the benefits of doing either a 24 hour fast, so a whole day fast, or intermittent fasting, where you have a, for example, an eight hour eating window and a 16 hour fast. So to give you guys some context, again, um, you can either do the intermittent fasting route, which is what, how a lot of people transition to doing a full day fast. The intermittent fasting route is where you're restricted, um, you have a restricted eating window. And the main one that a lot of people do is the 16 hour um, fast and eight hour eating window. Or you can do, you know, you can manipulate the, the times of your eating window, shorten or lengthen your eating window, depending on what works for you. I started off with a 16 hour or 16 hour fast, eight hour eating window, but sometimes I wasn't able to condense that much, um, you know, get all my meals in that eight hours because you know you could be in school, you could be working, um, and so you got to figure out what routine works best for you. And tip number two, or benefit number two, would be um, that. Um, Fasting for 24 hours, it increases your human growth hormone substantially. So your human growth hormone is essential in protein synthesis and helping with your metabolism, weight loss, or muscle gain. And just after 24 hours, um, they've done studies and it's backed by science and your human growth hormone uh, increases substantially over a 24 hour period. And they say if you're doing a whole day fast between 24 and 72 hours, Within the first 12 hours, that's when your, your insulin sensitivity is at its highest, and that's when you're burning uh, glucose first. And then the next 12 hours, um, once you're reaching your the end of your fast, that's when you start to get into the fat, and that's when you start burning your fat. Um, and it goes straight to, you know, it, it can start going straight to weight loss. And so that's one of the benefits is the human growth hormone element. Uh, the second benefit is the weight loss. Um, when you're when you're looking to lose weight, you know one of the main things you got to be focused on is caloric restriction. So when you're eating and you're in a caloric surplus, you're gonna nat you're gonna naturally gain weight. So if you're constantly eating more, eventually your body is gonna adapt to that style of eating, and eventually you will gain weight. On the uh, reverse side, if you're looking to lose weight, then you need to restrict your calories more. So um, if you're someone that's looking to lose weight and you're, you know, you're, um, you're, you're looking to lose weight, you need to make sure that you're eating less calories overall. So as long as you're in a caloric deficit and you're eating less, it doesn't matter how you do this, whether you're naturally eating less with your food or you want to utilize fasting, fasting is a great tool for weight loss. Tip number three, um, tip number three is um, they've done some studies on, on some, uh, some people that were uh, utilizing the full day fasting or whole day fasting with just water and coffee. And what they, what they found during the study um, was that the people that fasted for you know anywhere from 24 to 72 hours, they lost up to 9% body fat between a 12 and 24 week period. So that's just to give you some numbers of what is possible if you're someone that wants to utilize fasting as a weight loss tool and a way to lose body fat. And tip number four, it increases your insulin resistance. So, um, it, you know, insulin is very important with um, helping you with fat loss. Um, the more insulin resistant that you are, or sorry, it lowers, yeah, it lowers your, your insulin sensitivity. So, you know, that, that helps you to um, transport glucose more efficiently to your cells, which aids in muscle muscle growth and weight loss, and you know more efficient metabolism. Um, you know, so you're not storing fat; so you're using that glucose as energy to help you either lose weight or build muscle. So that was tip number four. And again, um, just a quick disclaimer: I am not a doctor. I don't intend to be a doctor, and um, you have to. I always recommend do your own research and on, on you know, these various studies and see if fasting is indeed a, you know, something that may or may not benefit you. But make sure you do your research and 
and at all times, as much as you can, consult with a doctor if you're looking to test um, some changes in your diet. And always go, uh, you know, find find a professional that can that can help you as, uh, out with this as well. So take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. But again, I have done some research and I have done some personal uh, testing myself in my own experience with fasting, and I have noticed great results thus far. So hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Uh, if you found this video helpful, give me a like and a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, uh, put the comments down in the description below. And again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.